Good morning, Rosa Parks. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by a mystery class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, boys and girls. You may be seated. At this time, I want us to think about someone in our family that we can help today. So let's take our moment of silence to think about, is there someone in my family that I can help? Maybe you've got a little brother or sister. Maybe your mom is cooking dinner and you need to help set the table. So let's take a few seconds and think quietly to ourselves about who is someone in our family we can help today. Let's bow. Great job, boys and girls. You may be seated. I'm gonna straighten the camera real fast. There we go. All right, we have a friend celebrating a birthday today and a friend, a couple friends tomorrow, and I think I may have missed a birthday yesterday. So um, I'm going to say a belated happy birthday on May 5th to Grace and Howard. I hope you had a great birthday. Happy birthday today to Alyssa Parrish. I hope you have a great day. It looks like it's gonna be sunny, but a little chilly. And tomorrow we have two friends celebrating a birthday on May 7th, a special happy birthday to Sam Brackett and a special happy birthday to Sui Nung Yong. I hope you both have a great birthday. We also have a staff member celebrating a birthday today. A very special happy birthday to our translator, Mrs. Sui. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, Miss Sui, and that you get to enjoy it with your family and friends. All right, friends, it is time for our Fitbit moment. Remember, an active brain and an active body means we're ready to learn. So stand up, give yourself some space as we get fit. Good morning, boys and girls. Today for our Fitbit moment, we are gonna practice jumping on one leg. So what you're gonna need to do, I'm gonna have to stand really far back. You're gonna lift one leg up, and you're gonna jump on the other leg. Let's do it for 10 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, boys and girls. At this time, please remain standing for your moment of silence. Great job, everybody. Boys and girls, I do think it's gonna be a sunny, but a little chilly day. So even though it might be a little chilly, put your jacket on, go outside, ride your bike, play, go on the swing set, go in your backyard. Be sure to get outside, get some fresh air, get some exercise. Well, Monday was May the 4th, and I got a lot of funny and cool Star Wars pictures. So I'm going to show those at this time. Great job. Um, be on the lookout. There is even a staff member and her family in this picture. Um, Miss, it's Mrs. Magea. And Mrs. Magea and her family dressed up for Star Wars a couple of years ago. So uh, be sure to look for Mrs. Magea in the pictures. Enjoy. This is Chewbacca from Star Wars. I really thought those were pretty funny. Um, great job, and I hope the fourth be with you. The force is with you. All right, today's picture challenge is I want you to read a book to your brother and sister, or brother or sister. And if you have both, you can read them to both. And if you have a little brother or baby, a brother or baby sister, you can read them a book. If you have older brothers or older sisters, maybe they can read you a book. If you don't have any brothers or sisters, that's okay. You can read a book to your mom and dad, a pet, a grandparent, um, and send me the picture for Friday's announcement. So 
send me a snapshot of you reading a story to an older brother or sister or baby brother or sister. And if you don't have a brother or sister, grandma or grandpa, it'll be all right. All right, so Mr. Schneider decided for the next couple stories, I'm going to break out some books from one of my favorite authors. And one of my absolute favorite authors is Doreen Cronin. And one of my favorite books she ever wrote was called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. And here's the little cow. He's looking at the camera. He's trying to figure out what's going on. But today is our writing learning day. So just like these cows, we're still learning to write, and so are they. So I'm going to read Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Written by Doreen Cronin with pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety clack, moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. Clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. They wrote him a letter. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We would like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Can you believe they're asking for electric blankets? It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Well, the next day he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Can you think of what hens is another word for? Yep, hens are chickens. So look, the cow's writing the note and the chickens are in the watching Mr. Brown, Farmer Brown, get the note. Well, the cows were growing impatient. That means they were getting restless. They were tired of not getting an answer with the farmer. And they left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. And in the background, he heard, say it with me, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. Clickety clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. What does furious mean? Yep, it, he was angry, he was upset. He was angry that he wasn't, his animals weren't doing what he wanted. So Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Boys and girls, what do you think he's going to do? Or what do you think the farms and eggs are going to do? Are the farms and, I'm sorry, the cows and chickens, what do you think they're going to do? Let's find out. And this is one of my favorite characters in the whole book. Duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. And the ultimatum is kind of that letter that Farmer Brown that said, if you don't do this, well, the cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked early on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. 
Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. <sighs> so Farmer Brown decided this was a good idea. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. See, they've all got their nice little toasty blankets on, nice and warm in their barn beds. Huh. So the duck has the typewriter. What do you think the duck's going to do with it? I think you're right. So the next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. Weed like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, Whack, click, clack, whack, clickety clack, whack. So now the ducks have taken over. I love ducks, so every time I see ducks around my neighborhood or around the city, I'm all excited. And he gave him one. They've got a diving board now. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. I'm going to read a couple more of Doreen Cronin's stories over the next couple days, because like I said, she's one of my favorite authors. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. It is going to be a wonderful Wednesday. Don't forget to uh, watch your teacher's um, reading and math lessons today. Be sure to send them lots of awesome student work. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and as always, don't forget to treat people right and do the right thing. Shine brightly, stars. Have a great Wednesday. Bye, everybody.